What's up, what's up? I'm a builder guy, and today we are at the junkyard. I can't even call it an auction because they simply do not care about the things that they sell here. And we are doing a pre-bid inspection on a 2019 Malibu VLX. It's a 21 footer, and look how they treat this poor thing. Ugh. Let's go see how much damage we have, what we're going to be bidding on, how much we're going to be bidding on it. And I want your opinion. What do you think this thing should be worth? Ouch. That does not look good. It is fire damaged, so we're going to have to get in and see why. But I don't like the way they just dumped it. First, let's look here at the bottom. Oh my goodness, why do this? All right, let's look at this. I'm gonna lay down here later and look at it. But here she is, she's beautiful, but how much damage do we have and how much should we bid? I've gotten a couple emails as well about this. So I thought I might as well just come out and just do a video before the auction. So everybody's happy. Yeah, look at that. Corners beat. Doesn't look like this is too, too heavy. You got the surf gates. There's your fire damage. All right, yeah, just as I thought, this is gonna be a Crusader engine and it is the 409. Just as expected. Yeah, let's look at these seats. Yeah, that's not pretty, boys. What's not pretty is they just dumped it on the ground like this. I think the the, the value on this thing is when it was new, over a hundred grand. And take a boat and just dump it like this. Ouch. All right. I sound like I'm complaining a lot. This is actually a really, really, really awesome boat, and I'm very, very looking forward to bid on it. Maybe, maybe make this my uh, super boat 2.0 build. I actually found the original trailer to this boat, so I think I'll be able to get in contact with the original owner and find out what happened. So we got some melted plastic. I don't want to damage these seats more than they're already damaged. Got some water seat cushions batteries up front that's pretty cool i didn't see that before let's see what's going on in here all right so this is part of the engine covers on the sides yeah this thing is smoked it's actually worse than i thought yeah that's all soot Here's the culprit. Let's get this off the seat. This would be, yeah, I think this is a battery charger or battery tender. I think that may have been the culprit. Let's dump that there. Let's see how much damage we got. Look at this, look at that wire. That's what happens when you use not the right gauge wire to and then a super long extension and then you get fire damage like this but man this thing's beautiful look at this the swivel let me pop these things yeah one-handed oh it's already popped i'm an idiot the swivel racks speakers up top man she looks good but she's in rough rough shape let's look at this engine Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, definitely got some compromised fiberglass. I can't bend this back too, too much because it's gonna snap off. Vinyl is shot. Can I leave this like this? No, it's already stripped. Uh, let me see if I can find a stick for it. 
All right, got a prop for the engine. Let's see what we got going on here. So, from what I can tell, everything kind of fried and it all started in this area here. I'm very familiar with this engine. It's uh, PCM's 409 is LY6, or there's a different number for it. But um, these engines in the Malibus, they are, which one of the biggest downsides is that it's uh, water cooled, not a closed loop. It's an open loop system. So raw water comes in and it goes through the engine and cools it down that way instead of actually having uh, coolant. But still a very, very good engine. I'm just hoping that it's not fried beyond repair, which it doesn't look like it is. I think it's definitely savable. Got the tanks that are fried, but that's all right. I don't like the way this looks here. This is all fiberglass that's falling apart. I see that. Everything in the engine bay. It's mostly on the driver's side. Let's see if we get a better look here. Yeah, the alternator looks fine. ECU right there looks good as well. Let's see what we got going on in the oil. Where's the dipstick at? Should definitely not be walking on this. Where is the dipstick? I must be an idiot. There it is. Let's see what's going on with the oil. Yeah. Can you see that? It has oil. Looks all right. Somebody's already been looking at it as well. See, it looks like this harness here. No, oh, we got water. Something here. It's possible impe uh, impeller failure. And then just from the heat, the line started melting. And then there you go. Hopefully this engine isn't overheated. That's another possibility. So anybody that's interested in this boat, use the damage. I mean, it's not pretty, don't get me wrong. It's a lot of, a lot of work. But the question is, how much will people bid on this? I have a number in mind. Let's, let's see what you guys think. What should I bid on this Malibu wake setter? It's a beautiful boat, don't get me wrong. And it's fairly new. I just don't know the the hours we see the damage to the engine to the seats to the body who knows if uh these fins here damaged anything as well they literally just threw this on the ground and the and the sad part about it is this so-called auction will not lift this thing up for me i have to call in a huge crane he's going to charge me a whole bunch of money just to put it on the trailer yeah that's definitely a new prop probably prop shaft and then possibly damage to the support yeah, the rod the rudders as well isn't looking too hot let's see yeah look at that that's your speed sensor right there by the way yeah, I don't like the way that rudder looks right there. Okay, I think it might have been pushed. Yeah, I think so. I don't see, I don't see cracks here, but there definitely could be cracks on those mounting points because this is not how you set a boat down. Yeah. Let me know what you guys think. I'm definitely going to be bidding on it. This is right up my alley. I like the way it looks. It's beautiful. But hopefully that engine is savable. Because if it's not, we're in for some, a lot, a lot of money. Let me see if I can get a thumbnail here real quick. Let's see if I can do a screenshot, can I? Yeah, beautiful. 
All right, that is the 2019 Malibu VLX at the auction. If you want to know how much it sells for and if I got it before anybody else here on YouTube finds out, find me on Instagram. I'll post it on there. And uh, hopefully we get this thing. Comment down below. What I should, what should I pay for this thing? What would you pay for this? It's an expensive boat. There's, there was also another Malibu that I wanted to see. So let's go check that out as well. It, probably going to be going for another auction here shortly so i'm not, I'm not going to be dumping my entire life savings into the vlx but if i have to i might i don't know yes I'm very confused individual let's go check out that other boat all right we're coming up to the next malibu wake setter it's a little bit older version but at least this one's on stilts fairly decent until you look up here look at this yeah that's a lot of work boys this entire gunnel both sides same scenario as the nautique build this is a vtx so there's a 20 footer see that's how you can tell look at this yeah both gunnels need to get repaired and the possibility that this tower is going to be tweaked yeah, and you could tell right there, it's snapped in half. So new tower, new gunnel work, and window here is pushed out, and this glass here is pushed out. Somebody's definitely gonna overpay for this. I could put, I could bet money on that. Yeah, this, this work here is not fun. That's weird, that's very thin fiberglass. It's a lot thinner than the Nautique. Let's see how the bottom looks. And if you're interested in this boat, here you go. Here is your walk around. Decent speakers, but already getting fried from the sun. I think this is might be an 07. Let me see, let me look at the tag. This is a 08, 08. Yep, that's the other Malibu that I've seen here. And I think that should wrap this video. Let me know what you think about the VLX. I want it, but do I really, really want it? And do you guys really want to see it? All right, that's it. Peace out.